and great. Okay, well, to get started, we're gonna start with just some stretches. And the first stretch, we're gonna have just a nice wide stance like you're in a really deep lunge. Front foot way far in front of your back foot. And then you're just gonna push your hips forward and kind of lean back a bit. And then press your hands up into the ceiling. So you're just gonna get this big stretch through your hips. And you can even like lean side to side. And then we're gonna just switch legs. And we're gonna just hang out and alternate between those two stretches for one minute. <laughs> so taking your time between each one. And just like a really big deep lunge step with your back leg on the ground, hips forward, leaning back. And again, maybe side to side. And then switching whenever you feel like you want to. And again, we're just gonna hang out with these for one minute. As we kind of loosen up our hips before we do some stepping and stuff. seconds for these. All right, and then uh, next you're going to take the same stance with your feet, but this time you're going to plant your hands and then just open up with one arm twisting towards your leg and then the other arm twisting away from your leg, and then switching to the other side. And we'll do this also for one minute. And so similarly, kind of opening up our hips and now also our chest a little bit. And switching legs. Again, just as you feel. You get that twist both directions. And 30 more seconds for these. And next you're gonna start um, with your hands and knees on the ground. And then you're just gonna step your right foot up and then your left foot up. So you're kind of in this like crouch or like low squat with your hands on the ground. And then we'll twist, twist, and then we'll put that right knee back on the ground and that left knee back on the ground. And then again, coming up like that crouching position and then squatting and twisting. And then going back to both knees on the ground. And taking your time as you like between your reps and in each place, but again, just really opening up our hips here. And we'll do these for about 10 more seconds. Again, just knees down, and then step in one foot up, step in the other foot up. Twist, and twist. Okay. All right. So my mat's got really dirty, and I'm getting all these slippers on my hands. All right, so we'll go ahead and stand up for the next part, and we're just gonna do some standing knee hugs, alternating for one minute. Same thing, just opening up our hips a little bit, kind of slowly getting moving with some stretchy stuff before we go into the next part of the warm up. Ten more seconds for those knee hugs. All right, three, two, one. And we're gonna do one more knee hug, and if we knee hug on the right, you're gonna hug that knee up to your right, and then you're gonna step it out as far as you can to the right and bend that knee. So you'll do like a Cossack squat towards that right leg, 
and then you're gonna plant your hands on next to your right foot and kind of twist. So now you're kind of in that deep lunge position that we were in before, but your back knees up. And then we'll twist, twist. And then you can just go ahead and twist back to forward and stand on up. And then you can get back to center as you like. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So left leg, knee hug, Big wide step out into that Cossack squat, so side lunge towards this left leg, and then planting your hands and twisting to the left, so opening your hips up toward the left, keeping your back knee up, twist, twist, and then we'll kind of rotate back, so we're still on that side lunge, and then come back up to standing, and then go back to the right side. Knee hug, stepping out really wide, bending that knee, dropping to the right into that Cossack squat, and then twisting, so you're in that deep runner's lunge. Twist, twist. And then twisting back to forward and coming up to standing. And then again, just kind of tiptoeing or bringing your stance back, whatever works for you. And then switching sides again. And just kind of working through this at your own pace for a few more reps, maybe like 30 more seconds. Knee hug right into the Cossack squat, and then twisting into that low runner's lunge. Twist, twist, and opening back up. Stand. And about, just go ahead and even it out. So I'm going to do one more on my left side. And then twisting back. And standing back up. All right. So you can go ahead and check it out a little bit, and we'll go into the next part of our warm up where we're gonna do some jump rope skips if you have a jump rope, or you'll grab your maybe it's your weight, maybe it's a shoe, maybe it's just some item, and you can tap it with one foot, then the other foot. And so you can do kind of just like a walking march pace, or you could go a little bit faster if you want. If you want, you can also jump over your dumbbell this way if that's kind of more your jam. Uh, but either way, we're gonna do 30 seconds of like whatever that is. And again, you can also just pretend to jump rope or again, if you have a jump rope, you can jump rope. And then we're gonna do 30 seconds of those um, walking deadlifts. And so that's when we take a staggered stance, no weight. And then you just hinge forward, keeping your shoulder blades down and back, hips high. Really squeezing your core so that your hips stay back you're not tucking them under. And so we'll just do 30 seconds of jump rope, 30 seconds of walking deads. And we'll do that for three minutes, just straight kind of back to back, just to kind of continue warming up. This will get our heart rate going a little bit. And we'll start that in 10 seconds. I wanted to play with my jump rope today. <laughs> All right, ready, set, go. So 30 seconds. Or jump rope or something else is totally fine. more seconds and then we'll go right back to our jump rope. Three, two, one. 30 seconds on your jump rope or whatever else it is. Walking dance. 
Ten more seconds. And we'll do this one more time. Three, two, one. Jumping. more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Grab that sip of water if you want. And so next we're going to do some strength work and so we'll be working through three movements kind of like at your own pace for the next like 15 minutes and so I'll show you and then once you feel comfortable you kind of just keep moving at your own pace or you know you can keep moving along with me and so we're gonna start with um, a incline deadlift and so this is one of the items that we're gonna use your one of the movements that we're gonna use like your step four or something similar to a step and again, there'll be modifications if you don't have one. And you really don't need very high for this. Like even if you just had something that kind of gives you a little bit of an incline, like a couple inches, like this plate, that could totally work for you. And so what we're gonna be doing is some deadlifts at the incline. And we're gonna try to keep a really narrow stance. And I'm gonna show you to the side because I wanna emphasize that you're keeping your back really nice and flat. And so that means that you're using your shoulder blades like to keep your upper back nice and flat, shoulder blades on the back, but at the same time you're also using your midline to keep your back from arching too much. So you're really squeezing tight here, almost like you're tucking your rib cage into your belt. <laughs> so really tight here, a nice flat back, and you're going to reach up and back with your hips, and it's okay to slightly bend your knees, but we're really just going to try to bow forward, and you're going to try to get as low as you can. And so that's what the step is for, so that if you can get all the way below the step, then you can kind of get all the way to that depth. And so if you're not really getting to that depth anyway, then the step does it. You don't really need the step, and you can just do them on the ground. And so again, really just trying to keep your hips high, shoulder blades down and back, and your back as flat as possible, nice and slow to the way down. And then standing up fast. And so when you're feeling ready, you can try out a few, and we're going to do six to eight reps. You can kind of decide what feels right for you based on your weight. And nice and controlled on the way down. And then standing up fast. And really engage your lats to keep the weights pretty close to your body. You don't want them to hang too far out in front of you. And I'm close. And again, once you're done six to eight, you can take a little break. And then the next one, you might want a little bit more of an incline for this, but this is okay to be like a bed or a chair or something soft because we're actually going to put our back on it. And we're going to do like a glute bridge raise, but with your back elevated on the bench. And we're gonna do it with one leg. So you'll have one leg on the ground and your back on the bench and your other leg is just hovering. And you're gonna squeeze your glutes to come up and then let your um, hips come back towards the ground and then squeeze your glutes to come back up and then let your hips come back to the ground. And you can do eight per side and if it's feeling good, you can add a weight. You can kind of let that weight just rest on your hips for now. And again, just trying to come up and then nice and slow on the way down, eight per side. And again, weighted is optional. And so you can totally do these on like a bed or a couch. <laughs> eight 
And if you don't have an incline, then you can do them on the ground and your back can just be resting on the ground and we'll do those single leg glute bridges. And make sure you add the weight if you're on the floor. on the way down and coming up fast. And then our last movement is going to be a broad jump and this time we're going to try to do our broad jump on one leg and so you're going to be balancing on one leg hinging forward so kind of like that one leg deadlift and then you're going to explode forward and try to land on that same foot so make sure you're landing it, your landing pad is clear <laughs> and maybe don't try to go too far at first you know broad jump we try to think about getting distance but since we're on one leg maybe we just want to Stay in control and not worry about going too far. And we're gonna do four per leg or eight total. And so you can alternate or you could do them all four in a row. And looking for balance and control. Woo. And so make sure you're dialing that before you're trying to get too much further. And you can really try to practice driving that off leg through, like knee up, toe up, just like when we run or do box jumps. And that'll help that mechanic kind of continue training through. Once you've done eight, you know, we'll take a little break and we'll go back to those RDLs on the incline and then the glute bridge on the incline and then the one leg broad jumps. Just resting and working at a pace that feels good. Sorry? Is it eight total or eight per side? Eight total. Okay. If you did some extra, that's cool. <laughs> or if, you know, you want to do more, that's also cool. <laughs> and yeah, just resting a little bit and then moving on to the next round when it feels right to you. And we're going to try to get in three rounds of this stuff, maybe four if you're moving quickly. Try to look. Is your bunny hanging out? Ivan's a big girl. Oh! No, I'm at Shira. Oh, you, oh yeah, yeah, you're Shira. Can you see us? Yeah. Right Ivan is so cute. He's all flopped out. So cute. <laughs> Hi, everyone. He's like, it's hot. I see Ivan on uh, Wes's Instagram all the time. He uh, makes appearances. <laughs>
fridges and then your one leg broad jumps. Make sure you're getting some rest. Once you're all rested up, you can go into another set. That deficit deadlift, those inclined glute bridges with one leg, those broad jumps, and we'll we actually still a little bit of time, so you might get two more sets in. But I had to tie my shoes.
are getting tired. We've got two more minutes. So if you want to rest or if you want to squeeze some other movements in, we've got two more minutes for this part. Take the next few seconds to wrap up what you're working on and take a little break if you want. It's hot. We're gonna use the step for the next part, but I'm gonna use the actual step. So that's why I'm putting this away. But if you're going to keep using that same step, then you can keep it out. So for the next part, we'll be doing step-ups, and if you don't have a step or something that you can step on, you can either do, depending on like what kind of surface you're on, you could do kneeling to standing, where you just start kneeling and then go back, <laughs> go up to standing and then go back down to kneeling, but if you're not really cool with your knees like being on the ground a bunch where you're at, then you could just do lunges instead, walking lunges, reverse lunges, whatever style lunges you want, and we're going to do 20 step-ups. And we're gonna do 10 per, if you're doing, yeah, we're gonna do 10 per side. So even in your lunges, you know, you could do 10 on this one leg and then switch. And on your step ups, you're gonna pull your knee up at the top. And so you could also do this with your lunges, reverse lunge to high knee. Just like, I think we've done that. We did that like two weeks ago, or actually last week. Um, but we were on the step, I think. <laughs> and, um, Again, you're gonna do 10 per side. And if you're feeling spicy, you can add that weight to the front rack. So pin the weight to your chest, 
And so you'll step up, high knee, and you can actually even leave your leg up on this box if you're doing the step up variety. And we'll do 10, and then you can switch to the other leg. So you can leave your leg up here the whole time between reps, which is a little bit different than the alternating step ups that we normally do. And so 20 step ups, 10 per side. And then we're gonna do an alternating clean with a narrow stance. And then as you catch it, you're gonna step out wide and do a squat with that one arm. And then as you come together, you're gonna switch and you'll do narrow stance, step out to that side, squat. And we'll do 10 per side or 20 total. Clean, step out, squat, narrow stance, clean, step out, squat. Yes. Oops, switch arms. Clean, step out, squat. And so kind of a little coordination there to keep you thinking. And so again, we'll do 20 step ups, 20 cleans, 10 per side. Meanwhile, we started the clock and it's been running for three minutes. And so any time remaining once you're done is gonna be spent doing whatever you were doing for the jump ropes and the warm up. So maybe the dumbbell taps, maybe the jump overs, but whatever it is, you're just gonna spend the remaining time of the three minutes doing those. And then we'll rest one minute and repeat four times. Perfect, four times. Ooh, I see a thumb. <laughs> oh, another one. Awesome. Oh, we're psyched over there. We got our steps and our cinder blocks ready to go. <laughs> All right. Okay, so again, it's gonna start with the step ups, 10 per side, and then it's going to that clean plus squat, 10 per side, and then finishing it off with the jumps. And I don't know where my stopwatch is, we gotta use the big clock, which sometimes the remote gives me troubles. Okay, we're gonna start in 10 seconds. So if you want the weight for your step ups, go ahead and grab it. Three, two, one, go! And high knee at the top, and you can go ahead and leave that leg on top if you want. So you all have to do all 10 in a row and then switch. Five seconds left.
more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, so first round, feeling it out. If you need to drop the reps down so that you can do more jumps, go ahead and do so. You know, maybe like 16 of each, 12 of each, you know, whatever you want, depending on how many jumps you want to do. And you know, if you did too many jumps, go ahead and add reps. <laughs> it's up to you. We'll do three more times. 30 more seconds to rest. Back to our step ups next. 10 per side. In 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Five seconds. times. Thirty more seconds. seconds. 
Two more times. Three, two, one, go. Five seconds. seconds. Last set, best set, coming up. Just finish it out. Stay steady through your strength stuff and just finish it out with some hops. Doesn't matter how many you get.
więc 